All right, so this is just going to be a very brief overview on how to download, install, and use the Bean Battles custom mapmaker mod. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is go into either Discord, uh, the Bean Battles custom maps Discord, or the Google Drink Drive link uh, provided in the description. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to use Discord. Uh, navigate to the Releases tab here and download whatever the latest release is. You can download anywhere. There's nothing bad in this, just a mod. Uh, save file here, we can go into your downloads folder, find wherever you got that, and then you're going to want to copy it. From here you can go into Steam, go to wherever you have Bean Battles, right click, manage, browse local files. And this will just take you to your Bean Battles directory, wherever all your files are for Bean Battles. You're going to want to paste in the file you copied earlier, BBCM 1.0 or whatever version. Uh, right click on it and then you're going to want to extract it here. So you can get rid of this uh, zip archive and it should have a maps, bepinex, changelog, doorstop, and winhttp files. And this is pretty much all you need for the game to run with the mod. So from here you can just launch Bean Battles normally and you will see something a little different. Um, so here we've got this little GUI that pops up when you launch the game. Right now there's nothing in it because we don't have any maps installed, but you can see you've got two tabs, um, a settings menu and a play menu. You can see there's a little grace period option here uh, you can mess with, but for now there's really nothing we can do. We don't have any maps, so we can just close out of Bean Battles. And if you're in the Discord, you can go to this little maps tab right here. You can find all the maps. There might be Google Drive links or just embeds in Discord. Uh, just depends on what's there when you see it. But right now I've got a little test map here you can download. Just download that real quick. Save the file and go to downloads. You can see test map three. I'm just going to copy that one as well. Go back to your Bean Battles directory, so just, you know, manage, browse local files, boom. From here, you want to go to the, the uh, Maps folder, and you're going to want to just go ahead and paste that file I just copied, and extract here once again, and you'll see Test Map 3 inside, you've got an Asset Bundle, an Icon, and then an Object Data folder. These are all the things that uh, the map needs or the mod needs for the actual map to be loaded and once you paste that in here you can just launch bean battles again and it'll be a little different this time we've got an actual map loaded with a weird stretched icon because I didn't change the aspect ratio of it but you can see we've got test map here um, so I can just tap on that you'll see it's selected um, and here you can just launch the game pretty much as normal. Um, I'm going to, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to turn on a grace period of 20 seconds just to show you how that works, but you can turn it off however you want. Um, I'll call it whatever uh, password or something. Uh, you can just launch the game. You'll load in pretty much like normal, nothing different. Might take a little longer depending on the map, but... Uh, you can see this really, really strange map that I made in about two seconds. <laughs> it, it is not good, I'll tell you that. But just for the sake of the tutorial, you know. <laughs> um, you can see it works pretty much as you'd expect. It's just a map in Bean Battles. You, everything's you know pretty standard. You've got weapons, you've got spawn points. There's nobody else in my actual game, so... Um, I can't really showcase that, but uh, I mean, that's pretty much all there is to it. Everything will work normally. You can hop out, you can join other people with maps installed. Now, um, when you're joining someone else with a map installed, you'll have to have the map as well. Um, and you don't have to select it if you're joining someone else that has their map loaded up. You can just tap join on them and it'll load your map automatically as long as you have it installed. If you don't, it's going to throw an error message up here and kick you out. Uh, and then you can just go grab it from Discord or whatever. 
or from your friend uh, but everything should work perfectly as long as you both have the map installed and it, it gets a little weird if people don't have the mod and you don't have a password on they can join and they'll pretty much be playing on a completely different map uh, than you but uh, you yeah, know it's all fun no no issues there um, other than that there's not really anything else that's the tutorial and uh, have fun I guess